I wanted to share with you a little bit about um, some of my thought process with getting to the vet because uh, since it was a very spur of the moment thing, I, um, I didn't have a babysitter lined up. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to take my kids with me. Let's face it, going to the vet is not always a super fun, relaxing trip. I was taking my cat along too because she needed to get vaccinated and all that kind of stuff. And so <laughs> I had to take my dog in, the cat in, and both my kids. And it was just kind of like, I felt really, really overwhelmed. I had about half an hour to get ready. But the big part of it all was it is a choice to figure out a way to actually get tricky stuff done. When we get into that mindset, it's like, oh my gosh, this is too confusing. I, I can't figure it out. Oh my gosh, I can't, uh, I can't do this. It's, it's too hard. Um, this is so overwhelming. I can't figure out how to make this good. That is literally a choice that we are giving ourselves. We are allowing ourselves to um, become overwhelmed. We are allowing our mind to literally shut down so we can't figure out a way to make it good, you know? So traveling with two young kids, a dog and a cat, and the fact that we were tra doing this over lunch. So we had to uh, grab lunch on the road and the appointment was at the start of Molly's nap time. And so I knew I would be pushing her past her uh, her nap time. And it's like everything that could have went wrong when you're dealing with situations like that could have. But I tried really, really hard to make myself just decide that this is gonna be fun. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. We're going to just roll with the punches. We're just going to, you know, we're just going to be relaxed. We're going to be chill about this whole situation because I've never been one of those. I know some moms are really, really good at going with the flow and not worrying about schedules and not worrying about this or that. And they're just like those easy breezy moms. Um, I am not an easy breezy mom. And so... For me, I actually have to make a choice to be an easy breezy mom, to be somebody who can go with the flow, to not be super concerned about, oh my gosh, Molly's going to be up an hour past her nap time. What's going to happen? What's she going to do? And then my stress is going to feed her stress. And then she's probably going to have a meltdown because I'm stressed about her having a meltdown, right? It all makes sense. And because I made that active choice that... This is my decision on how complicated I make this. It's really my own choice. And I decided that I am going to be an easy breezy mom, if we just want to, you know, term that. And everything went really, really well. And that was just, you know, it's just something that reminds me that I am really capable of doing things like this on the fly, going with the flow, and it doesn't need to be a high stress thing. Yes, I like a schedule. Yes, I like to-do lists, you know, but I don't need to become so obsessed with that that I allow it to ruin um, an outing. I understand that life gets crazy and it gets chaotic and it gets stressful, but honestly, how we decide to handle that stress, meet that stress, um, process it, that is completely up to us. We have the brain power to choose how we're going to handle it. We can allow it to overwhelm us. We can allow it to stress us out, allow it to get us cranky. Um, or we can choose to just roll with the punches. And we can be like, oh, okay, well, Molly's having a meltdown now. There's not much I can do about it. I'll be here for her and I'm not going to let it frazzle me and get me really irritated and grumpy and ruin the next three hours of my day, right? It is a choice. Choosing that something is going to be too hard. Choosing that something is going to be impossible. Choosing that something is going to be a horrible situation is going to make it exactly that. And so this goes back to some of that conscious language that we've been talking about, of really being aware of where our head is at. Because we have immense power to actually change the outcome or create the outcome that we want when we just decide that's how it's going to be.
right? Sure, my kids might have a meltdown. Sure, my kid might get overtired. Sure, the cat might meow for an hour straight on the way to the vet. But that's out of my control. What is in my control is how I react to it and how I deal with the situation and how it affects me personally, you know? And I just really want to encourage you guys because, you know, like we, you can totally spin everything in a much better direction than being really negative about it. And it is a choice. It, it's hard to hear. I know it's hard to hear because I will often get into a negative mindset and I almost like refuse to make myself turn it into a positive because I'm just, I'm stuck in that negative funk and that is not fun and it sucks to be in that place and it is can be really hard to hear. It's really your choice. It truly is your choice. And yes, is that a little bit of tough love? 110%. But if you don't make that choice for yourself, nobody else is going to make it for you. I have and to now. Okay, go well, can you get on the potty? I'll be right there. Um, but nobody can make your life happier. No one can make your life better. No one can make your life less stressful except for you. So here is your encouragement to choose easy. Choose happy. Choose happy-go-lucky. Choose roll with the punches. You know, choose flexibility. You know, or maybe you need to choose structure. Maybe you're too flexible and so life is kind of insane and you need to add some structure. There's nothing wrong with that either. But just coming from me and talking about my story is I often strive for too much structure. So I need that more loosey-goosey, happy-go-lucky in my life. So if this uh, resonates with you, I would really encourage you to go over to the guide section and either check out the 30-day transformation. And so that's the chomping at the bit transition from guilt to freedom because that is going to touch a lot on this kind of stuff, making those choices for what you actually want. Um, and it's really going to help keep you focused. It's only 30 days, guys, and it's literally about five minutes a day. Um, super easy to go with. Anyway, I will chat with you later. All right, take care.